Thank you. I'm just going to say a few words, um, just to kind of collect. I think what we've all um, what we've all witnessed tonight and listened to, and incredible bravery in this room that for people to stand up here. It's a very terrifying thing to do to stand up and talk about, obviously, vulnerability and being human. And I think um, the one thing that I've learned about life and about living over the last 42 years is I finally recognized what has caused down times for me. And there's been fantastic episodes in my life. And if I, you know, if I didn't make it till tomorrow morning, I really have had an incredible journey so far. But the one word I want to highlight that we might take away with us tonight, and it won't be part of our 2015, and it's fear. Because fear is our greatest enemy. I came from a place where there was a lot of fear outside our door. We've come through a state ruled by fear. We've come through two very bloody wars in the last 200 years. If you live your life in a place of fear, your life is tiny because fear makes your world smaller. We're in a place now when you hear of all these incredible speakers here tonight where the language of healing and the language of acceptance and the language that we have given ourselves through these peaceful protests, recently obviously the water protests, is that we don't want this anymore, to be treated like we don't matter. And I think there's a very, very, very brilliant development in our consciousness that's happened in the last few years and it's that we're not living in fear. We're challenging the government, I think, more than we've ever challenged them before. We're changing stuff. And that's what we've got to keep doing. So try and take fear out of the equation. Because every one of you here, if you have something in your life that you want to do, only you can do it. And last year, I started to worry so much about what was next and what was next and what was next. And when I look back at how much energy I wasted worrying about how I was going to do it, because I didn't think I was good enough at it, singing being one of the things. And I just thought back and I thought, what was I doing for those four months? I was worrying. And, you know, it's a waste of precious life. It really, really is. So get rid of it. Get out of your mind. It's a bad neighborhood, as a fantastic teacher from Brixton, yoga teacher, told me one night. So, you know, really be aware of your thoughts because your thoughts are what creates buildings like this and all the incredible work that we've had tonight. And it's just an idea, and that's myself and Joe was saying upstairs, little ideas. Never be ashamed of how little your idea is. If you think it's like, hmm, that's never going to work. Well, you don't know until you try. Do you know what I mean? So don't let the fear decapitate the idea. Work with it, get a dialogue going. Should it be in any field that you want to you know, try your life in? I did it with music. So keep going, but no fear. No fear this year. That's our, that's our logo, our mantra. So we're going to sing with this fantastic choir again. And I just really want to thank Kathy as well for um, just the opportunity and to meet all these fantastic groups that I know um, I'll probably hopefully be invited back for something else because um, it's a very, very clever start to the year, you know, because we are tribal people and we do need to stick together. We're a good tribe too. <laughs> so we're going to sing some songs. I get two mics. <laughs> Great, yeah. The 
than I've ever been lifted before. So keep it up now, quench my desire, and I'll be at your side forevermore. Come on, everybody. You know your love. Your love keeps lifting me up. Love keeps lifting me